Welcome to Be Great Today. I am Jonathan Bloom, or Frasley Sparks fan, in World of Warcraft. Today is April Fool's Day. I used to pull pranks on people when I was younger. <laughs> but today, I want to flip the day on its head by asking you, what do you believe about yourself? This is similar to episode 14, What Do You Tell Yourself?, which you can find at b greattoday slash 14. I was at an event in Estes Park, Colorado this past week. It was an awful time, having to be in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. Oh, it was so painful to wake up and see the mountains outside. It was about 8,000 feet up in altitude. This event was part of a leadership course for my degree. One of my biggest takeaways from the event is ideas and what we believe about ourselves and others. Dr. Myers, who was the main speaker, brought up the concept of the idea virus, an idea that gets in your head and starts replicating. I'm starting to feel that for my own life, one of the most dangerous things can be when thoughts are swarming around my head. I start to believe them. They start forming and I start rationalizing and believing them. If I don't start talking with people I trust, as well as writing down my ideas in a journal, these idea viruses can start taking over. I've had some ideas recently. I was believing things about myself until I started talking with people I can confide in about how I was feeling and what I was thinking. For me, one of the most common idea viruses I get is worrying. I start borrowing trouble. I start anticipating the future, worried about an event or something that probably won't happen, but in my mind, I think it will. I could go on about my worries but you probably can relate to my worries without me having to go into detail on them. And I'm going to bet you have worries of your own. When I get these ideas out, it helps me to realize how foolish some of my ideas are. I think it's important to not keep thoughts in our heads, but finding people who can walk alongside us and help. I don't believe anyone is meant to be without other people. In this instance, I am not talking about romantic relationships. I am talking about friends, mentors, and coaches. Some of the best help for me has been when I was able to talk things through with others. Someone actually said this past week that romantic partners might not be one of the best coaches because they have a vested interest in the outcome and they don't allow for the free flow of ideas. I want to ask you some questions to get you thinking. What are you believing? Are you making use of those people in your life who truly care about you? If not, what is stopping you from talking with them? Is it the fear of what they might think? I think you'll be surprised how many people are there to help talk with you. It always surprises me the people in my life who are willing to listen. And there are also amazing organizations like the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and many others that are willing to talk with you in a non-judgmental manner. If you need someone to talk to, please call 1-800-273-TALK. That is 273-8255. The number again is 1-800-273-8255. You aren't alone, even if you might believe you are in your thoughts. This is not something I think any of us can solve for ourselves easily, but I encourage you to start thinking about this. It has been very helpful for me to talk with others about how I am doing, getting those idea viruses out of my head. Thank you for listening to this week's Be Great Today. You can find the show at b-great.today slash 31. If this episode has inspired you and you know someone who can use inspiration on their journey, please share this episode with your friends. I want to thank Ajellos for his five-star review of this show on Apple Podcasts. He said, Jonathan has always been an amazing inspiration, insanely positive, and always happy to help others and try to make your day better. Thank you, Ajellos. These reviews make my day, and they help me know that I am hopefully impacting someone's life for the better. Until next week, be awesome. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com. Weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome.